Welcome back. You're still watching Fit Afrique. You have to all things African football conversations. This week, we're putting the spotlights on the Betway Premiership as well as the MTN8 that looms. It's taking place tonight. Orlando Pirates and Stellenbosch FC go head to head and only one team will reign supreme. Before the break, we did talk about Kaiser Chiefs just quickly. I just want to go back to that statement that I make. Do you believe in the game up against the land um, nominally Sundowns? They were caught. No, they were not. I, I, I think you know, if you look at, people are talking about the matches between Chiefs and Amazul as well as Chiefs and Marumo Garland. Yeah. In the second half, they never showed up. But Mamelodi Sundowns plan for a Chiefs that's going to fall apart in the second half. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, they're not ready for what happened in the second half. The fact that, you know, Ronan Williams ended up being man of the match because he made three telling saves towards the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that won Sundowns all the three points on the day, you know. So uh, forget what happens. Forget the, the drama that happened afterwards and everything else. But you've got to say kudos South Africans. You know, the stadium was packed for the third match in a row. Mm -hmm. uh, FNB Stadium, the only time we see that number is when the derby plays. Yep. Uh, but you see a Sundowns Chiefs game pull that sort of numbers. I mean, I was at the stadium. The euphoria was something else, you know. Um, that's what you want to see. Somebody said, and this is a statement that goes around a lot to say, a good Kaza chief is good for football. Yes. It's good for business in general. 100%. You know, uh, so long may we see this. Yeah. Long may we see a, a match where things happen. You're talking to Morgan. I mean, I know we've got Fabian around also. They will tell you about playing for the black and gold yeah. at that stadium you know, and what the demand is for playing for Chiefs. I think mm -hmm. some players don't understand that, the demand and what that requires for you to do, you know. So I think that is the biggest thing that happened. I mean, the drama this weekend uh, in the Betway Premiership, as you're talking about it, Marumo Garland's finally getting their first win. So Absolutely. And, you know, uh, finally. Well, done, well done to finally. But what did they do right in that encounter? Listen, I mean, they scored goals. Yes. Which they've been able to do. Most of the time they played well, but never scored goals. Uh -huh. So eventually managed to find the back of the net and that is crucial for them and how they turn things around eventually. But there was a huge turning point. Mm -hmm. You know, I spoke about Malangwane saying when he was out and was not available, yes. the team didn't look the same way. So when you have that player coming back, whether he's 100% influencing the game, what happens in the game in totality, he plays a huge role over and above everything else. Fair enough. Let's talk about this competition. 1972, the top eight competition has started out in South Africa. And ever since then, we've seen new champions rise to the occasion. Now, this year, it's Stellingbosch FC, as well as Orlando Pirates going head to head. Orlando Pirates are looking to make history by winning it three times in a row. And Stelly's man, oh man, they're in their first final of the MTN8. And they're looking to cause a massive, massive upset. Morgan, you look at these two sides. For me, I believe it's a new generation for both of the teams. What does it mean? for them? Look, I think if, if you're going to go into and unpack it, it's going to take you the whole day and unpack it to the new generation. They need to go in and play the game, not the occasion, because the occasion is huge. Yeah. Uh, the team that plays the game and not the occasion will win. Uh, barring that, Stellenbosch lose players, create new players, sell players, and for me, they, they, they way up uh, ahead of their mandate because their mandate was five years, they need to have a trophy. They need to sell players, which they've done so well. And, and what I like is it's the system. I was like, I was literally there. You the, were part system of the system that they have yeah. is, is, is out of this world because it's the same system that the uh, Blitz box have yeah. mm. and um, Spring box. It's exactly and, and, the same. And the Matis team, yeah, the Matis team. And you said because we also see a trickle down to the to the um, the youth development side, right? We see them getting to the Engine Champ of Champs final yet again. Just unfortunate this year to miss it to miss it out to Kaiser Chiefs. Um, look, I want to know though because you have two master tacticians that will be sitting on the sidelines. Where, in fact, will this game be won or lost? You, you know that there's one part we're looking at when we're saying. En route to get into the final, they still had an Ikram Reyners, mm. you know. A proud team joined them already sundowns. Gino van Royen was there in the first game when they played against TS Galaxy. Uh, Antonio van Veik, we always spoke about him when you do come into Morgan yeah. on SABC, how important he is as a player that comes off the field, off the bench, and really 10 things for them. They had a Ura Aniset, you know, who also left. So those four players who were key have left. But then what Steve Buck has done in the team, mm. they're new heroes that have come up. 
you know, Andre de Jong is taking over as, as the key player to look at. Nobody talks about Sihlian Dool in the middle of a park, what he does, how he has managed to replace a, a player that left the team. Turn Tetua left, everybody said, ah, there's going to be a void in the middle of a park. He has changed that around. You know, Ismail Touré in the defense, how he's done, Gaba coming in as well, and how they managed to change things around. Mujela is flattening the team like he's always been there. You know, you think to yourself, but Mujela was not there. Devin Tatt has become a key player. Fawaz Pasadin, I know that people in Naturena still want his signature comes yeah. January. But having said that, Stelis are playing the second final at the Mos Mabida Stadium. The last time they played a final, which was the first final in South African football, by the way, they won it against TS Galaxy. Pirates have an unbelievable history at the same venue where they're playing at the moment. You know, they're going to play later on today. But last five matches will tell you, Stelis against Pirates, three wins for Stelis, two wins for Pirates, MTN8 last season, Stelis came from two goals down in a league match the last time they met to win 3-2. We covered the game together, yeah. yeah? And then 3-2, that's how they won the game. But you know, they spoke about the dawn of a new era. Yeah. Will those new players at Stelis rise to the occasion? Or will the new glory man at Pirates come up and say, we want to do this and we want to make history? For Coach Jose Riviero, um, what does this mean? It's... Uh, <laughs> For, for, for the coach, yeah. it's something so historical. But another one is where the, the technical team need to come to the party now because uh, people have calculated how he plays, what he plays, Ooh, who yeah. he plays. Uh, I know the Pirates way of playing, they, they have their own style of football, but it now needs the players individually to come out. Not per se individual brilliance, but work. Mm. Just win your battles in your in, in, in your duels. Just win your battles so you can win for the team because individual brilliance is gonna, it's gonna take them away from what they want at the end of the day. Mm. Uh, because if you look at, I'm just making an example, Tito, uh, Patrick, everybody wants him to do well, but he's not, he's just plateauing and is, this is also a game where he can start going up. Mm. Um, really, same thing. He's there and there about, but is this a game that's going to take him on another level? On the other side, you've got Devon Titus, mm -hmm. where I feel Devon Titus is doing, is doing a phenomenal job, yeah. quietly so, letting all the people, and we've got the new, uh, new age Ramagalela, which yes. is Magella. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. He makes it so difficult for, 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 for the team. So they've got their work cut out. They've got a top goalkeeper, Sage Stevens, mm -hmm. um, knocking on the door of the national team. Chain. Oh, and his confidence is on 100 right now. Listen, if you know the guy in, in person, what a top gentleman, what a... He's a very funny guy. And, and, and moreover, he's been waiting in the wings patiently. Mm. The number of teams he's played for and the number of disappointments he's had, I think this is his, his comeback season. I'm going to put you on the spot just quickly. <laughs> I have to. I have to. Are you going to put me on the spot? Both of you. I'm already on the spot. I'm going to put both of you, Morgan. <laughs> Who takes it? By the book, Pirates uh -huh. have the upper hand because okay. the, the, the trophy is in the cabinet. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough, yes. By law, uh -huh. Stelis have <laughs> nothing to lose. <laughs> okay. But the referee will have a good game. Already. <laughs> Move again. Oh, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's by the book or by the law. Will the MTNA trophy go, well, be staying as Gordinho or will it be going to the Winelands? Only time will tell. A tough 90 minutes, a new generation, only one crop will rise to the occasion.